what's happening YouTube. I hope you had a very merry and happy Christmas. And I hope Santa got you all of those uh, PSA 10 graded and what's your first edition booster boxes you asked for. Um, just going to quickly go through some thoughts on the, um, you know, the time between now and the release of Scarlet and Violet. And then that's expected to be around the end of March uh, 2023. And just kind of talk about, you know, my idea of what's going to happen between now and then, how personally I'm going to approach um, the Pokemon and you know, the things I'm buying, selling, that kind of thing uh, between now and then uh, before the set releases. And just generally how I see things going from now till then and how that's going to broadly affect the, the larger market. Um, so if you um, enjoy this video, please uh, leave a like and um, subscribe if you're not already. And um, let's just get into things. So firstly, we're expecting uh, Crown Zenith to be released. Uh, I believe it is the 20th of um, January. It is um, the late January period. And obviously this is going to come a month after what was probably a very tough Christmas period for a lot of people considering all the stuff going on worldwide with, you know, cost of living. And um, I think generally uh, what I saw from from selling on my store for the last few years, I thought this Christmas was probably one of the slower periods. Um, we in the UK at least had additional issues from Royal Mail striking. So that caused um, a lot of um, problems that we don't normally have. I mean, postage is obviously, obviously slower during the Christmas period, but this was extortionately, like extremely, extremely bad. It was so bad that I actually closed my store early. Uh, the last few days, maybe even week before Christmas, I closed my store because I, at that point I was, uh, you know, losing parcels and I thought, you know what, let's just pack it in before I end up losing more money. Um, it gives me time to then obviously go and see, see, spend more time with the family, that kind of thing. So a bit of a uh, double-edged sword there, um, but generally, what I saw was that things were significantly slower than they what, what they were last year. I don't have the metrics. Um, you, you know me, I, I like to look at data, but I don't have the metrics with me to show that. But I, I don't think that would be difficult for me to show um, if, I, if I did have those pieces of data. So first things first, slow Christmas. Um, hopefully that picks up when Crown Zenith comes out. I know a lot of people have been super, super into V-Star Universe, and I certainly don't blame them. Uh, the booster box prices have been holding. I'm not sure when we when we'll I guess the Japanese side will announce um, a reprint of V-Star Universe. So I imagine that's going to still impact as much as the set is doing very well and obviously maintaining that price. Once that reprint comes in, and with Japanese set releases, it's usually you know we don't get multiple reprints like we do in English over many periods of time or a long period of time. I'm expecting like a big dump, another big dump. So hopefully that will affect um, booster prices enough to bring them down. And it's something that I hope to kind of jump onto uh, when the opportunity arises. And then between now and the end of January when Crown Zenith releases, um, I imagine things are going to be pretty steady still, uh, similar to what they were in December, slower than what they usually are just because of everything going on uh, worldwide. And of course, that's understandable. It's just a matter of just changing the way um, the way you adapt and how you adapt to situations such as that, especially for myself as a store owner, I'm reliant on obviously selling things for me then to pick up other things all the time. And so obviously when slow uh, st sales even um, slow down, I'm then having to adapt to that by probably at this point in time purchasing less than I normally would. So I've just not been buying as much. Um, I could still obviously still, still go out and buy things and, uh, and ignore the fact that sales are down generally, but uh, not something I want to do. I'd rather be a bit more sustainable in that sense. What I'm hoping to happen by the you know by the end of January is we get a bit of an uptick. Um, obviously, a lot of hype for Crown Zenith. I think it will be a fantastic set. For me, it's probably going to be the best set of this era. So lots to look forward to in that regard. Interesting to see if there's any other kind of collection box. I wouldn't say anything in particular has just been, you know, that uh you know enticing um i like the fact that the elite trainer box is going to have that lucario promo um i think that's a fantastic card uh, there's been a few lucario promos over the last six months maybe a year and and i think um it will be fitting to kind of add to that and um there's a, a another couple of collection boxes I, as i said i don't think anything particularly stands out so we'll see if there's any other releases i'm not too sure if that's going to be the case if there's going to be announcements for any any other type of box between now and then but um, you know, we'll, um, we'll, we'll keep an eye out for that. 
And with that uptake, I'm hoping, you know, a bit more interest kind of gets people um, more engaged, I guess, in the hobby, um, just because, again, things are pretty, you know, stable, but they're also kind of still and uh, not moving, not dynamic normally um, like Pokemon is. What I would say, however, is that does not mean we are devoid of opportunity. Um, I, I've, seen, I've seen quite a few um, fantastic pickups from myself, at least. Um, I found, again, that auctions um, this time of year, it's just quite easy to, to kind of let things slip through your hands just because you're not keeping an eye on things as much as you normally are, especially, obviously, over the, the festive period. You're with your family and friends. You don't want to be... Uh, sat on ebay and, and looking up at auctions and i am the sad person who still does that uh but even i given that i you know very much on top of this kind of thing all the time I'm, I'm also letting these kinds of things slip so you know if there's any cards that you're interested in um you're you, you know you've always got your eye out coming up for auction um just just be aware that i do still believe between now and um over the next few months it's going to be a good time for it we'll see you know how it comes to people selling things over um you know now that they've may maybe spent too much over the Christmas period, they, they, they may consider selling their cards or the received cards, upgrade their cards, whatever it might be. Um, we'll see how that goes over the following few weeks. I'm not expecting anything really. I'm expecting it just to be quiet until Crown Zenith releases. We'll have a bit of a bump. Um, we'll see what kind of reprint sets that we get between now, between then and, and, and Scarlet and Violet being released. Um, but I imagine it's going to be quite steady. But with that as usual with with pokemon there's a lot of opportunity in that too so again keep an eye out for all these kind of things the auctions um you know people trying to get rid of lots and and binder sets that kind of thing i've, I've picked up a few binder sets myself in the hopes of getting a few cards in there and grading them and and seeing how that turns so regardless of of the market being kind of stable still slow uh, whatever you might want to call it uh, i still just think at the moment we still have great opportunity to um to do well pick up pick up a few things and um i think it's not certainly not you know it's a time we we can guess i guess maybe look more towards the positives of that rather than thinking oh the market's slowing down a lot because generally i have seen um things just dropping in price things being a bit quiet but sometimes that's opportunity for us i, I you know i can't imagine it happening uh, continuously over the, over the next year that's obviously going to be dependent on how, how scarlet and violet does as a generation and the the first few sets so far from what I've seen from the uh, the base set, I imagine it's just going to be called Scarlet and Violet base set. Obviously, we've seen the return of um, EX. We've, we're, we're expecting to now take the kind of uh, silver border, the grey border forward uh, for English and get rid of the yellow border, which I'm a massive fan of, uh, and I think most people are. Um, I think, I believe each booster pack is going to have three pulls and they're all guaranteed hol hollows as well um so again another another nice a nice another nice tick um tick box there for for pokemon the only downside i guess is probably that the prices are going to increase but the way pokemon is with um msrp and that kind of thing you're usually able to pick up product for cheaper anyway so we'll see we'll see how that goes i can't imagine I don't know, maybe we'll see a $5 increase in, in, in certain products like a, an ETB or a booster box, whatever. Uh, maybe more. Um, but, you know, they're also saying you're guaranteed more hits. You're guaranteed, I think, more booster packs with, uh, with the Elite Trainer box moving forward as well. So I think they're doing well to balance that out, considering prices have stayed pretty steady. Um, although, again, you can make the argument that you just you pull things at a lower rate. So that's kind of their way of... Um, of uh, adding inflation to prices or, or to products. Um, I don't think it's the most unreasonable step um, for the Pokemon companies to take forward. I think it's, um, you know, they could have done a lot worse. They could have done what Watsy did with Magic, for example, um, some of those crazy shenanigans there. But, you know, I, I don't think it was the worst move from them. And you can complete, you know, you can very much understand. Um, yeah, of course, they're making and have made an insane amount of money over the last two years. But, um i guess it's just the reality of modern economics and um accounting for inflation you can't ignore it for too long so dependent on all of that um i think the market everything will be steady uh moving through scarlet and violet i hope that uh, once we get more releases uh or more information about scarlet and violet before it releases in march um there's more kind of hype to that base sets are usually a bit more boring compared to the rest of the um um, era of of of, of uh, cards. I, I can't think of a base set that was close to being the best set 
within within one era sure we can talk about the original base set and and neo genesis but probably from recent generations they've just not been as impressive and i think they kind of find uh, and get a better feel of the cards and you know the direction they want to move to as they are partway through through a series so we'll see we'll see about that hopefully they announced a couple of other, you know, one thing I'm hoping that they do is get rid of rainbow, uh, rainbow cards and focus more on full arts and alt arts for uh, for this generation. I think that would be another fantastic move. I don't know if they want to introduce something else to replace that if they were to remove them. Um, but you know, I guess the idea is, you know, if they just introduce more, um, more things for us to get hyped about, I think it will, again, it just generates a lot of hype um, for the market and, and um, gets things kind of I guess, I guess activity, liquidity, a lot of motion um, in different products. Um, so I'm, um, I'm, I'm positive in that sense. And uh, between now and then, I think a lot of consolidation, I think might be a good time to buy, but also, you know, how, how liquid are, are things at the moment? Are you, are you going to struggle, struggle, especially after this um, Christmas period, which I, as I've mentioned a couple of times already, was probably quite um, draining on people's finances. So... Um, yeah, well, we'll see what comes about over the over the next few months. I, I'm I'm certainly interested to see that. And um, yeah, thanks for checking out the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.